Hey guys, gals, my name is Teamer, and welcome to some Counter-Strike Global Offensive. I'm here with my friend Swift. Say hello, hello Swift. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just playing some CSGO arms race. Yeah. And we're gonna talk about stuff about CSGO. Yeah, because that's what you do when you're playing CSGO. Uh -huh. You get and support LDLC when... There is a counter to that boost, but poor LDLC did not know about that yeah. because the information was not available. Yeah, That's you got theory. a point there. That's for sure. Uh, I guess maybe if, like, everyone else knew about the boost, it would be more fair. Mm -hmm. And ways to counter it. Because CSGO, like, competitive pro matches are all made up around tactics and how to counter other tactics. Mm-hmm. And, um, when I was talking about this earlier, I forgot to mention that I was watching the War Owl. He's one of my favorite YouTubers, and... Awesome. Yep, he's great, and, um... When I was talking about counters, he found a counter, which is actually one of the slides in that particular map, and it actually serves as a really good function for an offer to pick off the person, uh, the, uh, person using that particular boost, so. Hmm. All, uh, all ends there, I guess. Yeah. I haven't seen that video yet, but I, I think it's a good point. Ways hmm. to counter that boost. So anyway, it will be, yeah. Um, speaking of, I thought Harold wasn't a bot for a second. I thought someone random joined our game. <laughs> Same. Uh, that happens to me uh, when I'm playing arms race with like a couple of bots or something. Yeah. But, uh, 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 I'm the best Hamas player there is. Evidently. Evidently. Um, also, another thing we wanted to talk about the CS:GO community. Yes. How yes. It, let's talk. Uh, specifically, how the community finds uh, new like Spider-Man spots and boosts on different maps, and then Valve comes in and patches some of them that really shouldn't be patched. Like, some of them are okay and there are way to, ways to counter them, but others, I I can see how they're pretty exploity and they shouldn't be there. Yeah. Alright. For example, one of them was uh, the Spider-Man spot on Mirage above uh, a ramp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I thought that was a fine spot. I ha Has it actually gone patched yet? I have no idea. I haven't played... Well, I don't know the callouts on Mirage, actually. <laughs> For all the map playing I do on Mirage, I find it highly ironic that I don't know the callouts to that map. I need to learn them. <laughs> Some of them. Another thing is that uh, how the community they all have they all could have different callouts than other people, so it can get really mixed up. Mm -hmm. Like let's say you have Josh and Joe. Joe says, "Hey, there's someone in a random callout here." Is there mm -hmm. there? And uh, the Wait, other. Josh, let's say, doesn't actually know what that call out is because they just call it that themselves. Mm -hmm. Or a small part of the community. Yeah. Actually says it that way. Yeah. I've I've actually found I played a map on or a, a uh, match on Nuke and I accidentally paused the recording uh, at some point. <laughs> oh no. But I just uh -oh. unpaused it, so it's fine. All right. We were talking about callouts. I don't remember when I paused it, but yeah. Mm. yeah. Anyway, All right. So um, we were talking about callouts and everything, and uh, how some people, you know, have different callouts than other people. Yeah. For example. Mm. Um, like, for example, I used to call uh under the ladder in Nuke to up to heaven. I thought that was called hell, and I only had seen a select few people call that hell. So mm -hmm. I uh, actually didn't think that that was a very popular callout, but mm -hmm. then I realized most people actually call it that. Mm. Yeah, and I still call it that to this day, actually, I think. I don't know. I, I haven't... still call it that to this day. Yeah, I haven't played Nuke in a while, so I don't know if um, that's changed any by the professional standpoint, but hey, whatever. Yeah, but... I actually... Uh, yeah, other than that... Um, Another thing is that uh, how the CSGO community is like just evolving and just helping each other, you know? Mm -hmm. One of the things I like in any sort of game is when 
there's community feedback, and I feel like Valve is really trying to push that yeah. in their games. Yeah, I actually read on uh, somewhere on the internet at some point that uh, that actually, like people that work at Valve, like their employees, they don't actually have a manager. They all just kind of work together. Oh, that's cool. They like they don't have a manager telling them what to do on a specific hour or day. Huh. Just kinda... That's that's a nice way to work. <laughs> yeah. I think that's why some of their games end up being so good. Yeah, because they're so relaxed and the creative juices just kind of flow. That makes yeah. a lot of sense. When you're I pressured also... under something, you just mm -hmm. can't work. Yeah, not very well. But some people thrive in that kind of environment, so it depends on yeah. what type of people you hire for your company, so... Yeah, like, for example, this isn't the best comparison, but in CSGO, when I, like, if I'm deciding where we're going every round, I am not good at it because I have pressure on if, if my team is gonna die if my team is gonna go. Mm -hmm. Like, I am under the pressure of having to do that. Yeah. And for some time, yeah, for me, sometimes it's like that where, well, look, uh, what am I gonna, what, what am I even gonna do? Yeah. You know, and then sometimes, since I'm a pro procrastinator pretty much, I, I'm like, oh yeah, I got an idea. This is where, you know, my team is headed. Yeah. I can kind of spot individually where the things are on the map. In unless it's, like, a map I don't know. Another thing that can really destroy your team, like, that if you're playing with a team, right? A, a thing that can really destroy your team and everything is miscommunication. Oh, yeah, miscommunication. All outs and anything. It's miscommunication and then, in any way. Yeah. Definitely, I definitely agree with that. I've had some bad, you know, miscommunication in my previous matches, so... Yeah, it's it's like one of the things that can really ruin your team if it happens. Mm. It'll get you killed and everything. Yeah, like, and then... <laughs> yeah, continue. Go on. Oh, uh, yeah, and then your team will start killing you if they're a bunch of bricks. I've had that happen before. Same so. here. <laughs> Anyway, this match is going to be over soon, I think that's it. Yeah, I think this has actually been a very productive talk about CSGO and all yeah. sorts of cool different things. Um, one last note that I wanted to actually put out. Um, earlier we were talking about how um, Valve does their games and uh, their feedback. And I think that a great example of them really trying hard to do this is in their early access, but... I think that a lot of people take advantage of that. So with yeah. that, that pretty much ends this whole, you know, CSGO talk. If you want to follow Swift, you can go to his channel. He's a great guy. He posts CSGO stuff all the time, literally all the time. You could send clips to me of an ace, full collateral, and I'd be happy to edit it as well. He's a great editor as well. So awesome. All right. Well, my name is Teamer. And my what's your name? Swift. And we will I see you. My name is Swift. What? Well, really? What, what do you sure think your name would be? Uh, oh no! Sure. Oh no! The oh, night knife kill. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get this knife kill to end it. If I don't get the knife the video kill, they're gonna, they're gonna be wondering like, did I get the kill or not? Yeah, you can't leave them on a cliffhanger. Oh, oh, there oh we go. nice job. My name is Teamer, and is this has been a great CSGO little podcast thing that we have done. If you'd like to see more, you can go in the comment section below, or, you know, just do whatever you want. Share it on Facebook, and I will see you, and Swift will see you in a future video. Ciao. See ya. Hello. Hey guys and gals, my name is Teamer, and welcome to some Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Uh, today, my CSGO crashed. Oh, okay.